Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning, and today I would like to talk about regrets, in a way, or things that you would wish you done different. If you, what would happen if I did this? Uh, how would my life be? Which path will I be on? Um, I have done a lot of that lately. I've done that a lot, I guess, all my life. And I think this week God showed me that I am where I'm supposed to be in life. I always regretted when I came here, I always regretted not continuing my studies and not doing what I thought I needed to do to better my life and my family's life and not have to struggle and I just wanted a change I want I many times I almost started continuing the life journey I started in Romania like continuing my higher education continuing my uh, nursing degree to a higher level because I thought that's what I wanted to do and I was close to starting many times, but then something happened and it just didn't, it didn't, it came to fruition because God knows your path. God knows what you're supposed to be. God knows and he will guide you and he will open doors that need to be open and he will close doors that need to be closed. And, um, if I would have done, I would have went the path that I thought I wanted to go, I would not have met so many wonderful people and ministered to so many people and them ministering back to me. Um, because I get, doing the job I'm doing, I get to be close to residents, to patients, to people and their families. And if I would have done what I wanted to do, would be more administrative things, or unless I worked in a hospital, and more, I would have been more detached. But I think what I'm doing right now is what God wanted me to do. So instead of regretting my life and regretting not going farther up in my education, not doing what I thought I wanted to do. It was actually a good thing because God could use me where I'm at, where I am at right now in this moment. I don't know how much longer he will keep me here, but as long as I'm here, I'm going to do what God wants me to do. Because don't regret where you're in life. Don't regret and look back and just be content where you're at right now and just thank God for the opportunity that he gives you to minister to people and be alive where you are, at your job, at your church, in your family. And I fail, many times I fail because many times I just, let the flesh take over when I shouldn't. But I know that he is with me and he's been helping me through this, through this time of uncertainty when I had to swap jobs, locations. It's the same job, but different location. And I had to get peace with that because I did I was arguing with God I was really mad because I didn't I don't like change I don't think anybody likes change I'm uh, I guess the older I get the more settled in my ways I am so change happens for a reason because God is trying to mold you to make you be the vessel he wants you to be so instead of grumbling and instead of fighting God, 
because your life didn't turn the way you think it should, just thank him for what he got you through and for what he put you at at this moment. And pray for wisdom to what you need to do next. Because it's always going to be a next. God is not going to just keep you at this lower level. He always has... It's always going to elevate you to a higher spiritual level, I mean. And he's teaching you lessons if you pay attention. If you don't pay attention, you're going to go through the same class over and over and over until you learn your lesson. I mean, that's how it is. Because I had to do that. A lot of us have to do that. So I hope you have a blessed day. And I hope that you're looking good in the situation you're in. Look, you look at this as an opportunity to grow closer to God. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.